Good morning, everybody. It's Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out this morning, right ahead of the next big chill coming down here in the Deep South. We're going to get down to freezing again. But, guys, I've got my little tomato plants here in my hoss tool trays. Uh, they've all came up well. They're doing really good. It's just been we've, – we've had some cold mornings. It gets warm during the day, but the mornings are usually chilly. I'm having to take these in and out under grow lights, and but they, they're trying to do pretty good. The tomatoes, for the most part, are coming up. We got some that's just now starting to come up in here. It's a little lagging, a little behind. That's okay. The peppers really require some warmth, and we're trying to keep them in a warm room at night. But you can see they're they're actually coming up here. A couple of them here. Now these haven't come up yet. Uh, the bush okra, we've only got one of them, and there's another one trying to come up there. And the squash we've already taken out. Uh, we've got them in cups back here. They're doing good. Now the zucchinis. Uh, all of them failed but one, and I had to go back and replant them. So, uh, but what we've got here, we're putting our Amish paste in the little black containers here. Our celebrities are in the red cups here. We're taking them out of here, transplanting them because they're at the, you know, to me, when one gets to a four leaf stage, it can be transplanted. And I'm trying to get all this done ahead of all this cold weather so I can get them in and keep them in a warm spot. And I'm putting them in larger containers because we're still probably two to three weeks from being able to put them in the ground. And I'm wanting to get them as large as I can get them before they, uh, I don't want them to bloom or anything, but I want to get some good growth on them before I actually put them into the garden. And in the little trays here, uh, this is designed to just basically get them up and get them going. Um, now these seeds were old and... Guys, I mean, some of these seeds were five and six years old, and look, I still got a perfect stand out of them, so I'm not going to ever worry about my seeds having some age on them. Now, I didn't let these dry out like I normally would because I'm in kind of a hurry, uh, but I take a little stick. Now, the Hoss tool trays has got little holes up under the bottom of them, and I take and I find the one that I want, and I stick that stick in the hole, and I kind of like push up on it a little bit real easy. And these little cubicles will come right up out of there. It'll come right on. And because I've got two plants here, you know me, I'm not wasting nothing. So I'm very careful with them. I try to make sure I don't damage them in any way. And while they're this stage, this is the time that if you're going to take them apart, to take them apart. Now the soil, the reason I left it a little bit damp is so that these roots will pull out of here and not damage any of the little tiny hair roots. They come apart real easy. I'll lay that one to the side for the next pot. And I just kind of like drop them down in here. Now guys, the, the key to, to transplanting is no air. So I take and put my fingers right beside it and I push this top uh, pot and soil down tight. Now my pot and soil is already damp. I moisten mine ahead of time. And there we go. That one's in there. I'm fixing to get this one and another one. I got me some pot and soil in here, and I kind of like tamp it down a little bit. And then I just take my finger, and I just run me a kind of round and round. I make me a little deep hole in it like that. And I sit it down in here. Try not to let the dirt fall in on it. I'll take my little plant. Be very easy with them. And I just drop the roots and all down in there. Real easy. and Kind of move a little of that pot and soil back around them and then you don't want to break the plant or the roots but put your fingers on each side kind of push down that gets rid of any air in the soil around the roots a lot of times the plant doesn't even know it's been moved now don't fill these all the way full because they're not living in it permanently this is just going to be to get them up to a certain size and get them in the garden okay my hands are so cold out here this morning because it's about 40 degrees which is okay Plants can handle that. It's not too bad on them at this temperature to get them transplanted because it's not hot. They're not trying to grow in it or anything like that. So I'm going to um, take now and see if we can't get these things moved over to the countertop over here and get them out of this uh, cold wind out here and get them over here where it's a little bit warmer up under the shed. Oh, now that's going to be... And guys, with the freezing temperatures we've got coming, I will be taking these into our storage room in there. 
where the grow lights are at and I'll be leaving them in there uh, overnight and we'll take them out during the day when it warms up, put them back at night till we get beyond uh, this cold spell. And then from that point, they will go from here to the greenhouse because we visit the greenhouse every day. And when we go in to take care of the, uh, I say greenhouse, the high tunnel, when we go into the high tunnels to uh, work on them, we'll monitor these. Now, I'm gonna go back out here. I'm gonna show you a little something about them to look for and you'll know what you're looking for when you see this. Okay, guys, <clears throat> when you take your tomato plants and you roll the leaves up on them, you see that purple? That's a phosphorus deficiency. Now this is just potting soil. It doesn't have everything that they need in it. So what we're gonna be doing, you can see the stems are all purple looking. We're gonna be taking some, uh, now that we've got them moved over into cups, we're gonna take some liquid phosphorus uh, and we're gonna be putting that to them to kind of help pull them out of some of this phosphorus deficiency that they're experiencing at this moment. Okay guys, these are the spaghetti squash and the gold prize squash. These are both from Hoss Tool. Uh, they were all planted the same time the tomatoes were. I transplanted these a couple of three days ago into these cups and look at look at how they've taken off. I put some liquid phosphorus um, in them and uh, of course Miss Wanda didn't like the smell of it because it stinks really bad, but um, but they really needed it. And um, I think that they're gonna do pretty good. Now the cold got to them a little bit. You can tell by their leaves right here, the cold did get to them just a little bit, but I think they're gonna be all right. Okay guys, these are just solo cups. Now what I do on them is I come around here to the bottom and I just nip a little hole in them, like there, there, and right here on this edge. I just take my pocket knife and nip a little tiny hole in them. And then I'll sit them down in some water like this and that water wicks up into the cup and that way i don't have to come out here every day watering them i can just put my grow solution in the water down here and the plants just naturally take it up now by the time i take them out of here the roots will be growed all out the bottom of the, when i see the roots coming out the bottom of the cups i know it's time for these to be moved to the garden and we're just hoping by then that uh we got some warm weather so that uh we don't have to put uh, hop covers over them because we're gonna have to do that probably in the next week. These things are growing like weeds Okay guys, I can't say enough good about the horse the horse tool trays here. They got the real sturdy bottom here This thing is really heavy duty this bottom this thing here the, with a cubicle tray This is a 162 one. This thing is just ideal. It's got the little grooves that go down in it here what this does is this forces the roots to grow straight down in it. They don't sit here and wind around in circles and get root bound. These go straight down into the bottom. They got the little hole in the bottom. You can take like a pencil or like this little stick and when you get ready to move them, if you let them dry out a little bit, they pull right up out of it. Perfect. Um, now they have a lot larger one than this, uh, but this was the size that we really liked. Stay with us guys, continue to watch, subscribe to us, hit that notification button so that whenever we put up these videos, you'll be able to see them. There might be a product that you're interested in to help you out in your home, uh, to grow your stuff for your gardens. And guys, some of this stuff is amazing. I mean, we've always done it the old fashioned way, but a lot of this stuff coming out is really helping us to do a lot better job than what we used to do. So we really like the new products that Hoss Tool is coming out with, all, the, all these trays. They're not these little flimsy little thin things that you have to throw away after a couple of years. This thing will last for probably the rest of my life, to be honest with you. Um, and then these grow light things that you're coming up with, these little grow trays and all this stuff with the lights already made in them. It's just fantastic, guys. If you're interested in any of these products, uh, in the description box below, we have links to all this stuff. Go down and check them out. Uh, I think that you'll thoroughly enjoy them because it's going to make your life a lot easier. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, to grow your stuff. So guys, stay with us and watch the products grow here at Deep South Homesteads.